Welcome to PNW Enduro. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk to you about how YouTube is continuously making it difficult for people with channels such as mine to succeed. Well, our rant, I'm going to show you some footage from a ride I did back in the summer. I haven't shared any of this footage yet, so it's all new. And hopefully those of you that are watching that have YouTube channels might learn a little bit about video quality. You may notice when watching dirt bike videos on YouTube or any other action sports with POV footage. Some people's videos are going to look very crisp and clear while others are going to look pixelated or grainy. I'm going to explain to you today why that is. When you upload a video to YouTube, it's going to select one of two codecs to play your video in. There is the lower quality AVC1 and then the higher quality VP09. For videos such as mine, it's pretty essential to have the video play in the higher quality VP09. To see what I'm talking about, while this video is playing, right click on your screen, there will be a pop-up box and on the bottom of that, select Stats for Nerds. You're going to see a bunch of stats on the screen, but what we're looking for is the codex. It's either going to say AVC1 or VP09. Now YouTube gives preference to the larger channels, they get the VP09 format automatically. Coincidentally these are the channels that are running ads and earning revenue for YouTube. Well those of us with smaller channels are stuck with the AVC1 poor quality videos. Not to toot my own horn or anything but you'll notice that my videos are usually pretty clear and crisp and that's because there's been a couple workarounds to force your video to play in VP09. Now one of the tricks was to go into YouTube editor and change the saturation of your video and then save it. Once the new copy has been saved it will play in VP09. YouTube took that away a couple months ago so the solution lately has been to trim your video. You just need to trim a couple seconds off the end, save the video and the new version will play in VP09. But this week YouTube has taken that away from us as well. So if you have a channel that is not earning money for YouTube, but you still want to produce videos with good picture quality, what do you do? I've been trying to figure that out myself for the last couple days, and I found one more solution that YouTube has yet to take away from us, and I'm going to share with you how to do that. The solution I found starts with recording your footage. You're going to need to record in 1440p or higher, 2.7k or 4k. All of the modern GoPros or other action cams are going to have these options, but if you're using older equipment, this might not work for you, unfortunately. Once you've uploaded your footage to your editing program and finished editing, when you render the video, you're going to have to render it at 1440p or higher as well. Now you can render higher quality footage at a lower quality. For example, if you record in 4K, you can still render in 1440p. But if you try and go the other way around, it's not going to work. In my test, I took some of my 1080p footage and rendered in 1440p, but once it got to YouTube, the video would not play properly. But the good news is I have found once you upload your video that's 1440p or higher, it's automatically going to be playing with the VP09 codec on YouTube. The only downsides to see of this so far is less battery life out of your GoPro and possibly longer render times when you're editing. So that's my solution. Upload your videos to YouTube at 1440p or higher and you're going to get the VP09 Kodak and your videos are going to look crisp and clear. I hope this information has been helpful for my fellow creators out there who want to get the best possible content on YouTube. As for my videos, you'll probably notice that this one and the next few are still going to be playing in the lower quality AVC1 Kodak. With winter coming up, I've stockpiled some footage so I can try and get you a new video every week. But all that stuff has been recorded in 1080p. Everything I produce going forward is going to be in 1440p, so you should see a big improvement in video quality once I get through the current content I have. If you're watching this video and you found the information helpful, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. To all my regular subscribers, I'll be back in a few days with a new video, so until then, thanks for watching.